Hey guys, welcome back. It's another episode of The Bone Horde. Sorry it was gone for so long. I actually broke my pinky last month, so um, so that was real fun, but it kind of took me out of the loop, so I wasn't able to do videos or do a lot of like really, um, you know, decent crafting. So finally my uh, cast is off. I'm able to move it just, just mostly, mostly. That's about as that's about as far as I can get it. So, um, but uh, at least that's enough for me to uh, get back to painting our little pink house. So, um, this will cover that. Uh, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. Um, I do, however, have to say that uh, I tried to show you the colors as I painted. That didn't work out because my camera doesn't do autofocus too too well, and so when I speeded it up, it's just kind of a mess. So what I'll do is I'll put the colors that I use down in the information of the video right down below, and uh, you will be able to access that information there. Also, I'm using music for the first time. Ha <laughs> ha! Let me know what you think of it. If I have to find something completely different, well, I'll do that too. But you know what? It's it's about personality, man. Just enjoy it. Just bring it in, man. Bring good stuff okay uh, so this will be it for the little pink house this series I'm gonna have uh, uh, some more videos coming up I got a whole list of things to tackle uh, a couple of really cool new projects that I want to show you and uh, we'll be getting right to that as soon as we do this okay so uh, as I said uh, this first part is really just about uh, uh, base coating this whole thing so um, I'm using a uh, burnt umber on this, I believe. Uh, I don't know, the colors are down below. You look at that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just using a, a, a one inch flat brush uh, to, to base it in. I'm not being super careful with this because uh, it is a base coat. Um, the, uh, the ceiling that I did with it was uh, uh, Black Magic Crafts uh, Mod Podge and black paint mixture. Super simple to make, just cruise over to uh, Jeremy's uh, videos and check that out. He'll explain how he makes it and everything. I swear by this stuff, it, uh, it creates a nice uh, seal over everything. It also, um, it also makes it a little bit tougher, so it, uh, it uh, doesn't break as often. So uh, kind of crucial when you have those uh, very thin pieces of roofing, uh, of the shingles hanging over the other side. So. Uh, next up, I'm going to be painting the base color for the bricks, and that I'm using a medium gray. So um, again, I'm trying not to get into the cracks too much, so I'm just kind of brushing it over. Um, and uh, I'm brushing around all my timbers and my windows and everything because I'm going to be painting those a different color as well. Um, <clears throat> getting my foundation and underneath the eaves. It's really important to get underneath the eaves because uh, what if you look under there? What happens then? So that going. Okay. Finishing up the chimney here in the same base color as the rest of the chimney. So next up I'm uh, doing some details. So uh, so I'm going through and I'm uh, taking a lighter gray. Uh, this is a dove gray that I'm using. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just painting random bricks. Uh, not a lot of them. I, I don't want to overdo it because then it just kind of overwhelms the eye and it kind of, you know, doesn't leave room for other colors. And I do use two other colors. Um, I use a, a nutmeg and a, uh, oh gosh, what's the other one? I, I can't remember. I think it's a, oh, camel. That's the other color. Um, so uh, I try to use a mixture of warm and cool colors. Uh, you'll see my, my, uh, my earth tones are more warm and then the grays are more cool, and I kind of like to mix that up just because it gives more variety and it uh, it looks great when you uh, throw a wash on it. It just looks more realistic, you know? Kind of gives it a great mottled tone, so. <clears throat> this is the nutmeg that's going on right now. I felt like at first it was a little too red, like it was almost a terracotta, but I thought, yeah, you know. So I decided to use that uh, uh, for the um, for the timbers as well because I like having those uh, detailed timbers on these uh, elven style houses, just a little bit different color from the roofing. Um, it would be made out of a different kind of wood anyway, so <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of indicate that with color. Uh, I want to make sure to get underneath and uh, and on the sides of all these timbers. There's a lot of different sides to it, so. Um, details, 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 that's what's really, really important.
after this, I go ahead and I put on a watch. Um, but, uh, but I don't have a video of that. It's just a simple uh, black paint with water. Uh, I put a, a little bit of alcohol in it just to kind of help it uh, uh, flow better. And, uh, and uh, that uh, seems to work really, really well. So right now I'm uh, detailing in the uh, windows with the same uh, burnt umber that I used on the, uh, on the roof. in with some metallic this is antique copper on the uh, that's just for the chimney <clears throat> and then this is a navy blue that I'm using for the windows um, I like to use a nice dark blue because it kind of gives the impression there's something going on in there but it's not you know so bright or shiny that it distracts from the rest of the piece And finally, uh, here I'm going to just dry brush some details onto the roof. I'm going to start with the nutmeg and just kind of uh, hit the, uh, the bottom edges of all of these. Um, I don't brush off a lot of the paint because this is uh, 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 not a very high contrast. So, um, so I'm trying to just take the bristles and, and really just nick the edges of, of all of these with a, a decent amount of paint. I also go across um, the, uh, the peak of the roof and underneath just to let some of those details pop out a little bit. I also do the, uh, the detail timbers, which of course, because I'm so good at camera work, um, I do off, off camera. So um, I am now mixing in a little bit of camel um, to do the, uh, the ultra highlights and that's just some uh, random little bits here and there that I wanna uh, pick up. Uh, off of the roof um, just to give it the impression that uh, the light's striking it. Here I'm doing uh, the edges of the timbers and just kind of lightly going over the windows with the same uh, camel color. I'm also hitting underneath the eaves so I can uh, get some of that detail out. Um, the door of course which I forgot I also put copper bands on because that seem to look cool. That's pretty much it. Um, a lot of the painting I do, I do just kind of off the cuff. I don't do a lot of planning or plotting. I kind of feel my way through it, so um, that's that. And here we are, finished product. So um, all I have left to do is just seal it with a clear coat and it can join the rest of uh, the collection on the shelf. So I'm pretty proud of this little guy. It's a, it's a cute kind of a different style than I've done before. Uh, the paint job came out pretty decent. Uh, you notice how the uh, the wash kind of mellowed out those those colors, which is good. That's kind of what I wanted it to do. Um, but, uh, but it still gives it a lot of personality, a lot of depth, a lot of color. Um, the highlighting on the roof turned out really nice. So we have some great, I don't know if that had the sheen from the the lights a little too bright for you so but i gotta be able to work you know i gotta see what i'm doing but uh but yeah so that looks pretty good so uh thanks for joining me for this journey i hope you guys stick around and come back for more videos um i'll have some more coming out in the next couple of weeks so thank you <laughs>